Uh, it's time for a new series. This series is What If Goku Was Evil? Now, an evil Goku has been done before with Goku Black, but we're gonna do a truly evil Goku. So with all that being said, let's get to it. His birth would be normal, but in this alternate timeline, Goku is not like his normal self. He is like the normal Saiyans. He cares about death and destruction, and one thing only, battle. As Bardock sends him to Earth to get away from Frieza, he would land and walk out. Goku would look around as he saw Grandpa Gohan. He had evil intent in his heart. However, he realized something. Grandpa Gohan was stronger than him right now, so his plan was to use him. Grandpa Gohan would teach him martial artist techniques and techniques how to live on his own. Since Goku never hit his head, he was actually quite brilliant. One day, as Grandpa Gohan was sleeping, Goku walked up to him and did a key blast, murdering him. As he blasted his stomach, Gohan would wake up and yell, What have you done? As tears fell from his eyes, he fell to the floor. I always knew there was evil in your heart, but I thought you could change. Goku laughed, said, Change? I am a Saiyan. We are the superior race, and I'll wipe out every single human on this planet. Then, he kicked his head so hard it fell off. As Goku left Grandpa Gohan's house, and went to wipe out humanity. Brought Grandpa Gohan's Dragon Ball with him, and he figured he might be able to get them all. He didn't really know what to wish for, but there was so many possibilities. Maybe a partner to help him with his goal, or maybe immortality. So many options, or maybe just the best food in the universe. Who knows? But he'll keep that in mind. He went to city to city, wiping them out. Most of them were filled with pathetic excuses for martial artists, so they were easily destroyed. However, the Red Ribbon Army took notice of this, and Goku found a few Dragon Balls here and there that would send the Red Ribbon Army right after him. Goku would look up one day and see tanks and jets. He smiled and laughed. Goku has been training, he's beginning stronger. He would blast through them, destroying them, but then, General Blue showed up with his key powers, and Goku fought him. After waves and waves of men, Goku was tired out, and General Blue was able to incapacitate him. Goku had chains all around his arms. As he looked around the room, he would see a bright light in the window. He realized it was the moon, but he couldn't quite reach it. He looked up and saw General Blue. You're going to be executed soon, kid. Any last words? As Goku would spit in his face and say, yeah. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'm going to kill you. Hmm. He sighed deeply as he grabbed him and began to pull him back. He cried out in anger and pain as his arms began to get stretched out. He managed to beat Goku limb from limb. And then broke him from his chains, just as he planned. As he picked up Goku's mangled body, he looked up and saw the moon as he transformed into a great ape. Goku would then regain consciousness and look around. He destroyed everything. He went to the base to find the Dragon Balls where he kept them. He now has three. He only needs a bit more. But he's in bad shape. He was beat up quite a bit. So he went into the woods and began to sleep. But as he slept, he had dreams. Dreams of someone helping him. Dreams of a teacher. A teacher called Piccolo. Dream, this Piccolo had an army of demons. And he ruled the world and destroyed city by city. However, he was Goku's master. And not only master, but friend. They were close allies. As he woke up, he felt weird. Maybe it was a premonition. He realized that that is what he must wish for. He must get the Dragon Balls and wish to meet Piccolo. But going city by city was so ineffective. And he was just scared to destroy anything. Because, well, it might destroy the Dragon Ball. So... He decided to wish for Piccolo to come to him. He knew Piccolo existed. He didn't know how. But it was like he had these visions, these foresights. Maybe they were just a dream. If there was no Piccolo, surely the wish wouldn't even work. However, he didn't really know what to do from here. Till he got an idea. You see, he heard people talk about Capsule Court and how rich it they were. If they were the richest family in the world, maybe they could do something to help him find the Dragon Balls. So he carried the three he had and went to Capsule Corp. There was guard there who pointed their weapons at him. They were nice since he was a kid until they realized he was a kid that wiped out whole cities. They fired their guns, but it did nothing. Goku slaughtered them. One by one, their corpses hit the floor. 
lifeless bodies. As he walked further and further into Capsule Corp, he saw a girl there. Her name was Boma. She cried and backed up and said, Don't, don't hurt me! Goku said, Can you help me? With the Dragon Balls? With the, the Dragon Ball, she made a Dragon Radar, but she gave up because she couldn't find anyone to help her. But she agreed to give him the Dragon Radar. And Goku said, all right, from now on, you'll have my protection once I wipe out everyone else on this planet. I'll leave you and your family alive. Goku said, as he began to search for the Dragon Balls, it was much easier. He was easily able to locate them, Dragon Ball after Dragon Ball. However... Something happened after a while. He found a weird island. You see, Goku was on a boat, and he traveled to place to place since he couldn't fly yet. Goku felt humiliated that he couldn't fly. What kind of Saiyan can't even fly? However, once he found this island, he could sense a strong power, so he decided to hide his evil energy. This was a technique he learned. Since he was a little boy, he would look cute and innocent. He went to the island. He saw an old man there. The old man said, Kid, how'd you get here? He said, I just came here for the Dragon Ball, looking innocent and cute. Master Roshi said, sure thing, I'll give it to you. But as he handed him the Dragon Ball, suddenly Master Roshi punched him straight in the face. As Goku flew on the sand, he got back up. Master Roshi said, did you really think that would work, kid? Huh. Yeah, right. I can tell that there's evil in your heart, but you're also just a little kid, so I'll give you a chance. Leave now, and I won't hurt you. Goku said, I'm not going to leave without the Dragon Ball. As they both began the battle, but Master Roshi just destroyed him. He went into his buff form and began to beat him limb from limb. He completely demolished Goku as he threw him back on the boat. And he said, I'm not going to kill a kid, but if you come back here, I will end your life. I'm giving you a warning, kid. Don't say I didn't give you that. As then he sent him on the ship. The boat would hit a small island. As Goku laid there, starving, bleeding. Luckily, his Saiyan biology would allow him to heal. And when he woke up, he would slaughter animals for food. He was so angry. But at least he still had the Dragon Balls. But as soon as he thought this, a man walked behind him. It was Mercenary Tao Pai Pai. The mercenary began to walk up to Goku. And say, well, it took me a while to find you, kid. But Goku would look up and said, wait, you're the mercenary, right? Before you kill me, I have a proposition. He would look at him intrigued, go on. Well, you like money, right? I have the thing called Dragon Balls. They can grant any wish. We can wish to be the richest people in the world. You can have unlimited money if you let me live. <laughs> Tao Pai Pai wasn't one to leave a job undone. So he was going to use him to get the Dragon Balls and kill him, so he agreed. But Goku knew this, so he had to betray him first. But they had to get the one for Master Roshi. Goku felt way more powerful. So him and mercenary Tao Pai Pai went on the boat and went to Master Roshi's house. Master Roshi sensed Goku. Why would he be back? But he felt so much stronger. He should still handle him though, right? Of course, he's just a kid. But when he walked out, he saw mercenary Tao Pai Pai. He sensed both of their energies as Mercenary Tao Pai Pai charged at Master Roshi and they both began the battle. But for some reason, Goku didn't charge. They both began to battle each other as Master Roshi got wounded, but then he broke Mercenary Tao Pai Pai's arm as he fell to the floor. Then Goku punched a hole in his stomach as Mercenary Tao Pai Pai fell down dead. Goku began to laugh. Now you're winded, old man, so I should be able to beat you. As they both began to battle each other, pushing each other further and further, Goku was winning. But Master Roshi decided to pull out his trump card, the Kamehameha. As he pulled out his buff form and went, Kamehameha! Goku saw the technique and was able to copy it. As they both clashed, they pushed with all their might, with all their strength, but it pushed to Master Roshi's face, destroying it. As Goku fell down, broken bones, bleeding, he began to breathe heavily. Master Roshi did. He went into the house and began to sleep there until he woke up. He healed as he got the Dragon Ball and continued his search. Goku would face challenge after challenge, desert bandits, monsters. No matter what he faced, he would destroy it. 
and he had all the Dragon Balls except for one. However, this one was guarded by a witch and a bunch of challenges. As he walked towards the Dragon Ball, he saw Baba, and she said, Now, if you want this ball, little one, you're gonna have to. But Goku just ran as fast as he could, but suddenly a demon jumped in front of it and said, hmm, I can tell you're evil. Too bad you're gonna have to die, as he used his technique that kills anyone with an ounce of evil in his heart. But Goku was able to jump out of the way, barely in time, and use all of his speed to punch a hole straight through his chest, killing the demon. As he fell to the floor, he went to grab the ball. But a weird man in the mask showed up and began to battle him. He had a halo over his head. Goku said, show yourself, and Grandpa Gohan took off his mask and said, how could you do this? How could you do all those evil things? You're just a kid. Shut up. I'm an alien. I came to this planet for one reason. My planet was destroyed. So I'll destroy your planet so you know the pain that I felt. And besides, I will wish to summon someone to me who can train me and make me more powerful than anyone can ever imagine. Grandpa Gohan said, I could have trained you. Master Roshi could have trained you. So many people could have trained you. Why do this? Hmm. <laughs> Because you're all too soft, I need someone who's ruthless, who can make me a powerful warrior, a powerful Saiyan warrior. He began to battle Grandpa Gohan, but eventually he grabbed his tail. As he fell to the floor, Gohan picked up Goku's tail and said, it's over, boy. But Goku said, no, it's not, as he used all of his strength that he barely had left to blast the Kamehameha. Gohan had his guard down, so it shattered his chest as he fell to the floor and died. Goku began to breathe heavily as he managed to win. He walked to Baba as Baba says, I'm not giving you, but then he grabbed her neck and began to squeeze it. Tell me where the Dragon Ball is. She led him to the Dragon Ball as he summoned all of them and he wished, he wished to bring a Piccolo to him. The dragon was shocked, but he commanded it. So he had to grant it. As he granted a wish and disappeared, he saw a rice cooker appear in front of him. Goku was angered. This is what Piccolo is, a rice cooker? He was so angry he broke it, as in King Piccolo appeared. And Goku looked up at him and says, You're Piccolo, just like in my visions. Train me. King Piccolo agreed since he freed him, and he decided to train him. A couple months would pass. King Piccolo would beat Goku and then bring him back, as he would heal up each time, being destroyed and healed over and over, pushed him to the limit. As King Piccolo got children, he summoned the Dragon Balls again and wished for eternal youth before destroying the dragon. He also learned he was an Namekian since Goku never lost his memory. And with this, Kami, Ten Shinhan, and many others charged at him. Kami managed to get out the evil containment wave, planning to get rid of him, but then Piccolo grabbed him, smashed him to the floor, and began to torture him. Meanwhile, Shin and Tien charged at Goku. So did Chaozu. All of the humans charged. But Goku has been training so intensely and been broken so many times, he was able to keep up with all of them. As he flew so past, he cut off Tien's head. And then he destroyed Chaozu. As it was nothing but Master Shen. Master Shen and Goku began to battle with everything they had. Everything that they could think of. All of their techniques. All of their powers. But Master Shen was simply too old. As he was defeated. Then... Piccolo tortured Kami so much he let him fuse with him as Piccolo and Kami became one. And Piccolo got his eternal youth. Goku and Piccolo now could rule the world and turn it into whatever they wanted. However, there was someone who would go after them later. As we cut to years in the future, Raditz is ready to come get his little brother, hoping he'll join him. And that's where I'm going to leave things off. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I know the ending was a little rushed there. But that would happen, and since I'm getting tired and it's like 1 and 2 a.m. where I'm recording this, I decided to end it like that. Besides, I can't wait to make a movie out of this. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. It means the world to me. I need to get verified. YouTube is my dream. Love you all. Peace out.